So you've got your iPad with an awesome photo booth app on it, like Booth Events, and you've bought a printer, maybe this great printer from DNP, the QW410, and you're like, how do I connect these things together? How do I print from the iPad to this printer? Well, the first thing you might have tried is grabbing a USB hub like this one and plugging that into your iPad and plugging the printer into your hub. Now they're connected, right? No, that doesn't work because Apple doesn't allow apps to print over USB. But don't worry, this is actually really easy to get going. In this video, we're going to use this great little device called the Aircast Pro 2. This is a print server and it's designed to fix this problem. Let's take a quick look at this and see what it has. This is the Express Edition. It's got an Ethernet port for networking, and that is what we are going to use to connect to the iPad. It's got two USB ports that we can connect the printer to, and it's powered by USB-C. It also has internally Wi-Fi, which we will use to configure it, but we're not going to print over Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi, especially at venues, can be unreliable. We're going to do wired printing. And most importantly for photo booths, we're going to make sure that our iPad is always connected to the internet at the same time. If you haven't already, check out our help article on help.booth.events that will show you how to connect your printer in great detail. In this video, we're going to go pretty quickly. Okay, let's have a look at how we connect all of these things together. First, let's take the Aircast Pro and we're going to take an Ethernet cable. Now these look like big phone cables. You can see that there. And I'm gonna take one of those ethernet cables, I'm gonna plug it into the only hole that it'll go into on the Aircast Pro. Then I'm gonna take the other end of the ethernet cable and I'm gonna plug it into my USB-C hub. So if you haven't figured it out already, you need a USB-C hub that has ethernet. I recommend this one by DocTech. We have quite a few of these from Amazon. They're cheap and they seem to be very reliable. We've had them for years. Okay. I'll plug that into the Ethernet port on the USB-C hub, and then I take my USB-C hub and I plug it into the iPad. All right. Now I'm all set. All I need to do is plug in the power to the Aircast Pro, and I need to plug the printer into it as well. And that's all of the connections. Next, let's have a look at how the software works. All right. So if you've never set up your Aircast Pro before, if this is brand new, one of the things you probably want to do is set up the printer to choose the paper size that you want. So what you do is you first connect the Wi-Fi of your computer or your iPad, if you're gonna use your iPad to do this, and you connect it to the Aircast Pro Wi-Fi hotspot. So you wanna do this configuration of the Aircast Pro over Wi-Fi. So I've connected my computer's Wi-Fi to Aircast Pro, and the password is Aircast Pro as well. And then I've gone in a web browser, I've opened this address. Can you see that there? It's 192.168.4.1. It's printed on the bottom of the Aircast Pro unit, if you forget. Okay, and the first time you connect, you'll be asked to kind of accept the terms and conditions and that kind of stuff, and you'll eventually end up on a page that looks like this. And you can see it's already detected my printer that I've added, um, that I've connected, sorry, that I've connected to my Aircast Pro. And I can edit the, the properties of that. If I have a look at it, if I hit edit, it's, I can see the print size is currently set to four by six. Okay, that's fine. But I wanna print a four by four square. So let's go ahead and add another printer. And we'll hit printer setup, because we're not making a pool. And all we're going to do is choose the same printer again. And this allows us to expose the same printer multiple times, and then we can pick what we want in the app. So there's the same printer that I'm gonna pick again. I'm gonna hit continue, and I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it QW410 4x4 to help me remember what the paper size that I've chosen is. So we'll wait for that setup to finish, and then what we'll do is we'll click on it, and we'll hit edit again. And now I'm gonna change the print size to four by four, which is what I want. You have some other options there as well, but I'm going to leave those um, as they are for now. 
Oh, okay, great. So now I've got that all set up. Now let's see what we have to do on the iPad. Okay, so we've got the hardware here. There's our iPad connected over USB-C to our hub. Our hub is connected over Ethernet to our Aircast Pro, and our printer is plugged into the Aircast Pro, Pro via USB, just like we showed at the beginning of the video. So here's the Booth Events app. What do we have to do to get it printing? So let's touch the print the event to open it. And let's go to the last page and go all the way to the bottom. This is the main printing area here. So first make sure that printing is turned on. And then you can see here it says iOS managed printing, air print pop-up. That means that iOS is gonna pop up there, the operating system's printing UI every time. That's not what we want. So let's tap on that and we get prompted to add an air print printer. That's what we're gonna do, air print. And there you can see my printer that I added, the 4x4, as well as the other one, which was configured for 4x6. So let's choose the 4x4 printer. So now you can see I've connected to the 4x4 at the Aircast Pro, and there are other options for auto printing. Auto print means that the guests don't even have to press the print button, it'll automatically print copies and max copies, which allows me to prevent kids from printing like eight copies at a time. Okay, so let's try it out. We'll launch the event. And we'll take a photo. Okay, there's my terrible photo. Let's cut the rest of my scene out by using scene select. Fabulous, okay, there's a really awful photo of me. And We'll go ahead and hit print, and it's want one print, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Five seconds. That is fast. That's why people like these things. Okay, so the Aircast is now printing what I've asked it to, and the app is ready to continue, of course. Let's take a look at this print. All right, there's my really awful picture of me, just like I wanted, cut square like we asked. Okay, so there's, that's how to set up the Aircast Pro and to get printing from an iPad app like Booth Events. And also we've shown how crazy fast the Aircast Pro is at spooling our print job from the iPad. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments on this video or go to our website and hit the question mark and ask us questions there um, and let us know what other videos you'd like us to make.